The new town of Elizabeth, some 17 miles from Adelaide, has been designed to house 50,000 people by 1968. Modern hotels, shops, public utilities and homes are of the latest design. It is not often possible to plan a town on a drawing board and see the dream come to practical fruition. Such a scheme has in fact eventuated at Elizabeth. brand new city with a bright future, a good place to grow. Throughout the Menzies period, all British people had to do was find ten pounds, about a tenth of the boat fare, and the Australian government would find the rest. It was an old tradition, the colonies as the lungs of empire, providing living room for the lower classes. By 1956, a million migrants had come to Australia in just seven years. There was concern to keep the intake 50% British, a goal rarely achieved. When the magical millionth person arrived, matters were arranged so that she would be a British housewife. Developments varied. Sometimes whole new towns sprang up, such as Elizabeth outside Adelaide. A satellite town named specially after the Queen, English migrants seemed to find that reassuring, settling there to such an extent that the place was nicknamed Pommy Town.
over to the sunny side now. Australia, a great place for families. Opportunity for you. Fine for your wife. Great for your children. You could be on your way to a sunnier future in the new year. Elizabeth, a short ten years ago, no more than a dream, an architect's plan. Now well and truly established and growing rapidly. A young town, rich in young people with its own shops, factories, offices, churches, and schools. Home already to more than 40,000, the men, women, and children that are the true Elizabeth, the now and the future. Who are these people? Who are they today, this morning? <laughs> 